Guys, listen to me. Ian Gary should be next in line for the welterweight championship. Now, before you call me an idiot, before you ask what I'm talking about, hear me out. Let's see if this video doesn't change your opinion. Ian Gary should be next in line for the welterweight championship. However, he's not going to be. He's not going to be because he missed out on such a pivotal opportunity. Ian Gary came down with the case of pneumonia, couldn't compete at UFC 296 against Vicente Luque, which was something out of his control, of course. But we're talking about a guy that is on the edge of superstardom. A win against Vicente Luque would have shot Ian Gary into the stratosphere of being potentially the future face of the UFC. The UFC is looking for a guy like Ian Gary to take over. But because he came down with the case of pneumonia, he missed out on that opportunity. And you might be asking yourself, Malik, what are you talking about? It's just beating Vicente Luque. But what does that victory do for a guy like Ian Gary? Obviously, it's Vicente Luque. It's a name. But guys, UFC is the only sport that is very similar to the WWE. Meaning... Storylines exist. The storyline was already built in for Ian Gary to beat Vicente Luque and then call out champion Leon Edwards. If you don't know what I'm talking about, a quick Google search will tell you. Ian Gary was kicked out of Leon Edwards' gym, renegade. So the beef was already there. And then you got the people that say, Malik, what are you talking about? Dana White, UFC said Bilal Muhammad was next in line. He even weighed in as the backup fighter, as if we haven't seen that before. Don't believe me, Matush Gamrot. But that doesn't change the UFC from making the next title contender for the lightweight championship, Charles Oliveira. And then after that, Justin Gaethje waiting in the wings. Are you following what I'm saying here? Ian Gary missed out on such a pivotal opportunity to beat Vicente Luque, grab that mic while it's hot, while talking to Joe Rogan and say, I'm calling for a title shot. You don't believe me? Guess what? A guy by the name of Sugar Sean O'Malley did the exact same thing. He called out Piotr Jan. He said, I want to fight Piotr Jan, fall Piotr Jan. And then he said, you know what? I'm fighting for the championship next. I'm next in line for a championship. And how could you deny a guy that just beat a guy in the top five? You see, the UFC has had many opportunities to make Bilal Muhammad versus Leon Edwards. But the UFC is telling you everything they think about Bilal Muhammad versus Leon Edwards right in front of our faces. The UFC is into selling tickets and putting asses into seats. I like Bilal Muhammad, but he doesn't do that. He doesn't move the needle. He's not selling a pay-per-view. That is the one thing I will agree with that Colby Covington was right about. Leon Edwards versus Bilal Muhammad does not do great for numbers for UFC. You have to marry that together with another championship marquee fight. You have to tie that together with a guy like Tom Aspinall or another or, or someone that can truly attract. The only way I think that fight sells is if you put it on a UK card, honestly, with Tom Aspinall headlining it. Otherwise, that does this fight doesn't make sense. The UFC has had many opportunities to make Leon Edwards versus Bilal Muhammad. Because guess what? Bilal Muhammad is right in one thing. He is deserving of a championship fight. When we're talking about the resume, we're talking about the string of wins, he's deserving. But we all know it's about what you could do on the mic that'll put you ahead in the UFC. It's about if you could sell tickets is what will get you ahead in the UFC. It's the reason why a guy like Conor McGregor is always one who fight one who fight win away from a championship. Because he sells tickets. And if the action is backed up with the words, it's an easy sell for the UFC. I say all that to say, Bilal Muhammad is next for the UFC championship. Not because the UFC wants it to be next, because then the question is just posed, well, if not Bilal, who? Who else potentially could we sell? Shavkat Rachmanov? I think Shavkat needs one more victory. One more victory. 
I think the language barrier holds him back a little bit too, if you ask me. But I think he needs one more victory. But Bilal Muhammad is next, not because the UFC wants that, is because they have no other options. They have no other options to make other than Bilal Muhammad versus Leon Edwards. But it's the last fight they want to make. Trust me on that. It's the reason why a guy like Bilal Muhammad has to campaign for a shot at the gold. So, I'm wrapping this all up to say, Ian Gary missed out on a huge opportunity. He had an opportunity to jump Bilal, to jump Shafkot, to jump whoever, and really give the UFC a strong storyline and something, to be honest with you, that they're lacking with their champions right now. 